Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, December 18, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button for uh, to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trading. Uh, the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US Dollar. And first of all, the US Dollar just absolutely crashed today. So we fell under 90 and um, we haven't been this low in the US Dollar Index uh, the last two to three years. And uh, there isn't like an end in sight as um, the Federal Reserve is going to uh, continue its monetary policy. It will weigh heavily on the US Dollar and it will most likely continue depreciating the next uh, technically months or years um, as long as the Fed is basically keeping its policy in place. So that has a major effects on most of these currencies because the US dollar is basically one of them. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and US dollar and as you can see we have rallied quite significantly today. We gave some of those gains back but still we can see what effect that the crash of the US dollar has had on the on this currency pair. We have been rallying since uh, 1314 and all the way up towards uh, 1363 and that is roughly 3.73% or 490 pips and that is only in like six trading sessions. Um, that is quite quite crazy to be very, very honest. So this will most likely continue upwards, but I think that we're going to see a minor pullback. However, these previous highs should be uh, supportive at this point. So a break towards this level here, which is at 1355, that should be quite supportive and we'll mostly rally from there. We are not very high in the RSI. So the RSI is at 60 and there's a lot of room to the upside. Other technical indicators are very bullish at this point, stochastics, the MACD, also the CCI. But if you look at the Bollinger Band, it looks like we have to basically pull back a little bit. So I said that this was supportive, yes. However, a pullback towards the 20 exponential, that is very plausible. It only means it gives us the opportunity basically to buy this because um, what most likely will happen is that the US dollar will appreciate for a day or two. This will start depreciating and that will basically be the opportunity to enter this market um, to basically buy it to the upside. So no reason to basically sell this at this point. And you pull back towards the 20 exponential from here towards the 20 around here. And that is basically a buying opportunity. So a decrease of uh, 82 pips, uh, give or take. That is basically a major buying opportunity. So let's look at the US dollar yen. And as you can see, we have fallen almost all the way down towards the trend line. We pulled back quite a bit today, but this looks like it's going to be a continuation. It will fall all the way down towards this trend line before it starts to appreciate again. So we have been trading within this, this channel for months now, since March, and we are continuing in this, uh, this matter. So at the top, the 50 moving average is resistant, and even more resistant is the 100 moving average or this trend line, upper trend line here. So even get close to this uh, 50 moving average, it's a selling opportunity. Get close to the 100 moving average is a massive selling opportunity. So. When we get close to the lower trend, uh, the lower trend line here, that is basically a buying opportunity. We can just see what happened the last time uh, we hit this trend line. It basically shot all the way up towards this level. This was a move of roughly 2.38%. So a massive move to the upside. So that is something that I will be paying attention to. However, if we break this trend line here, then watch out below. We are going to go much lower. So back in March, we were all the way down to 101.231. And that is probably where we'll find our major support. So we're gradually going towards these very low levels here before we will see whether or not we'll take up to the upside or whether or not we'll continue to fall. 
So this was an absolutely crazy move. Roughly, it fell roughly 9.6% and then increased again within a matter of days back 9.85%. So let's see for, for the euro and US dollar. We can see that very similar to the Great British Pound US dollar, we have rallied quite significantly. We took our time trading sideways, ran into the 20 exponential here, and then it took off. So the euro has been trading like this for a very long time now. We had a similar move here to the upside, like basically staircase up and up. And this move will most likely continue. But at this point, I do expect a pullback towards the 20 exponential. So we can see that we are fairly overbought. We're at 72 in the RSI. Technical indicators are showing signs of turning around. For example, the, the stochastic is showing signs of the turning around. But it just doesn't mean that we're going to collapse. It only means that we're going to fall roughly uh, 82 pips, something like that, 0.67%. And then it is basically a buying opportunity from there. So this is going to go higher. Is no reason basically to sell this at this point. A pullback towards the 20 should be massive uh, support and there you can basically buy it to the upside so Aussie US dollar same thing here the 20 exponential is basically your bottom at this market it is significantly overbought at this point so we may see a very aggressive move towards the 20 exponential um, but technical indicators they are still very bullish MACD stochastic CCI all of them are very bullish and because we have been gradually going up to the upside we have not crossed uh, the upper part of the bullish band uh, quite significantly we did it here and then we fell quite a bit but at this point we are still basically just touching the top of the bullish band so at this point I do believe that we'll get a small pullback not all the way down towards the 20 exponential but a pullback roughly 60 pips something like that that is to be expected at this point before we go higher. So no reason to basically sell this, it's basically just wait, get close to the 20 exponential and then buy into that. You can see what happened here when we hit the 20 exponential, it just took off to the upside. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we did rally a little bit today, which is expected. We are significantly oversold. <laughs> A move towards the 20 exponential here is basically a selling opportunity. So we have been trading sideways for not, not sideways. We have been trading downwards for a very long time. We were in this channel, broke out of it, and then created basically a similar channel up here. At this point, I believe that we are going at some point going to touch the previous highs of this channel. So we're going to rally up towards the 20 exponential and then break down again from there. So any basically pullbacks from here is basically a selling opportunity. We can just look at the technical indicators. They are looking dreadful, but they are showing signs of basically a turnaround. MACD is almost uh, crossing the signal line. The same goes for the stochastic, but the CCI is uh, very bearish at this point. So pullbacks towards the 20 exponential are selling opportunities. If you get all the way up towards the 20 exponential, that's roughly 0.72% or 91 pips. There is basically your chance to enter this market and sell it to the downside. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.